Welcome on back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rio So Golf. I'm back out here at Jack Tome Golf Course in Ripon, California. About to play the back nine of this Beat My Record out at Jack Tone. Like I've said in last week's video, I'm pretty sure I've shot only in the 80s. When I've played here, I think like 82 might be my best score. It is a par 62. I know last week I said it was a par 58. It's a par 62. Yeah, we're on to hole 10. Uh, if you saw last week's video, spoiler alert, uh, I'm playing more natural Rio Oso golf. Golf. So, which means it's not good. It's not been good. Um, yeah, hole 10 is a 302 yard par 4. I think it's 302 yards. I just ended with a pulled drive and on hole nine so i'm gonna go back to my four iron which i have been slicing hole 10. we might have to take a drop i hit a ball i hit my ball i hit my ball <clears throat> I hit my ball on the range. Not good. I knew I was going to slice it. And I aimed. I thought I aimed pretty decently right. But not right enough. This is the range. The hole goes that way. And I'm going to hit. I got 60 degree. Be a little out of breath. So to run on the range and hit my ball. So uh, I know you guys didn't see it. Third shot, short. I tried to open up the face. And I hit this tree and it came down. Thirty yards to the flag. Why am I hitting it short? <sighs> I don't get my golf game. What so f ever right now? I'm so. Annoying. The last three holes, I've done horrible. Five over par. Last three holes. I'm chipping on a par four that turned a little left, and I'm chipping for par. Frustrations, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm human. I have these competitive drives. I'm winning my burn mark. I'm end over end. That's a triple bogey. I have to forget about that one. That was probably one of the more uglier holes. And I need to pick up, pick it up. Because I want to want to break 80 out here. We're on to hole 11. It is a 127 yard par three. Kind of middle front flag. 126 yards. I got approach wedge. That's what we needed. That's my second green and reg. And if, if I'm going to break 80, I need to hit greens. Plain, plain and simple. I mean, we got about 12, 15 feet. Maybe 
maybe 20 feet but this green is very complex hip hip hooray shout out shout out me for hitting a green I don't know that. A little frustrating sometimes. I'm human, like I said on the last hole. Uh, this hole is completely in the shade. That's what I need. Let's go, y'all. Come on. We need a birdie. All right. We're on to hole 12. It is a 459 yard par five dog leg left. Um, I wish I had my range finder because this is the 90 degree sharp turn. And I do wish I could take off some corners. So uh, we're going to slice a four iron. That was nice. That felt good. That'll boost the confidence. Because this is this is a long hole getting getting over it. Past the corner. And I got past it. Let's go. Two foreigners aren't too much. We just made it around the bend. We got 217 to the middle. Uh, we have a blue flag. I'm gonna hit five iron just so we can have a flip wedge. But I think it went straight because I saw, talk about ADHD, I don't have it, but the direction where my ball was going, a bird popped up. And so then I followed the bird, but I'm pretty sure a nice little five iron chunk and run left me short of the green. It's a blue flag, so I got green to work with. 229 to the back. So I hit that five iron, 175. We're on the green, we're on the fairway. Let's go. chance and this is part of the course where there are five part threes in a row so two pars in a row actually three pars in a row while the previous four holes were pretty bad i've had pars on the last three and i've had the last two holes i've had pretty good birdie chances so let's go we're on to hole 14 it's a 151 yard par three 146 i got nine Just left, missed the green. I'm in the fringe area. Look at my ball mark. I mean, this is a nasty putt. Ball mark. And this is in a bowl. I don't know how I'm gonna leave this short because I gotta play it like, I gotta play it like up here just so it could turn that way. And I need to be short. Mm, what a putt.
on that breaks my part train I didn't aim where i wanted to aim and i got that was the that was a sneaky little bogey putt right there so we're good i think we are four over through through five on the back nine we got four holes left let's go come on let's break 80. all right we're on the hole 15. hole 15 is a 105 yard par three back flag let's go we got 117 to the back i got approach wise So far, hitting greens when I need to hit greens, turning out to be a, a decent round. Now that I've had a couple pars in a row, and I've hit some greens in red. Let's go. Walking up to the green. Got about 12, maybe 15 feet left for birdie. Yes, I said birdie. bummer i left a birdie putt short and the last two opportunities for birdie i've had have gone over the hole so i'm not mad just a little sad all right we're on to hole 16 it is a 140 yard par three i'm gonna see what my watch says uh the greenskeeper just rolled on through and changed the hole location so it's a white flag all right we got 146 to the middle i got nine iron It looked pretty, um, but I hit a second ball and I hit it short of the green. So we're obviously taking the first, but I you know, just want to try something out, like I have an iron swing with my. I mean, I'm I'm just way left. Oh, I picked up a range ball. Did I pick up a range ball? I don't know if I picked up a range ball. Well, I'll hide a freaking hoe. All right, all right, all right. Anyways, I'm over there. Got an unfortunate five after chunking again my wedge. Wedge game, not strong. We just need to play par golf on the next two holes and we get a 79. So let's go, we can do it. All right, hole 17 is an 80 yard par three. I got 60. That's so short. My tee shot went a little short for a, a lob wedge. It was too high. It was too high on the T and therefore v, v short. I got this chip. I need to get up and down. One of those miss hit wedges. Um, so this is for par. I need it to go in. good try you know there really is only so much i could do that was tough all right we're on to hole 18 hole 18 is a 302 yard par four we got a front flag kind of into wind this is the last hole of my beat my record here at jack tone golf and ripping it's been a quick 
18 holes been about two hours and 15 minutes so far so last hole i need a birdie to get 80 and i need an eagle <laughs> to break 80. we're gonna hit four iron Dang it, that went a little left. Just a little right on the green. I think we're on the green, pretty sure we are. I hit that approach was pretty good. We're gonna shoot a good round. I mean, this is a, this is a beat my record, set my record. Previous holes from, you know, you see me get frustrated, but it is what it is, man. Oh, I landed just short of the green. It was just short of the flag and it rolled out. All right, this is for birdie. I'd like a birdie over anything. Way too far. Man. That was par. I'll do the outro in the car. Alrighty. That will conclude the 18 holes stroke play. Beat my record. Set my record here at Jack Tone Golf Course. That score is going to be very... Going to prove to be very difficult to beat. 19 over. I got 7 pars. I actually could have... I could have broke 80. Shot a little bit better on the back 9. You know, I... I had a streak of pars, you know, I got seven pars total, so that will help the scorecard definitely. It's those triple bogeys, you know, hitting out of the sand. That is more or less around my what my handicap was last year. So I'm actually happy. I'm, I'm ex you can't see my eyes. You can't see my facial expression, but okay. I'm happy, okay? I'm happy. I know through the most part of these videos, I, I seem like a crabby apple. So um, I'm happy with that. 19 over, I almost broke 80. If it wasn't for those two double bogeys on 16 and 17, kind of hurt the scorecard. So, you know, it's those, it's the wedges. It's the wedges. It's like, I have three different type of shots with wedges. I got the full swing off the, off the tee box. I got, full swing when I'm you know 80 to 100 yards out I got this like lean forward shout out to my sponsor my sponsorship sponsored athlete program left behind golf I know I hardly shout them out um I wear their their gloves all day every day you know they sell my my Rio so golf merch so Props to Greg. Shout out Good Good. I'm wearing the Team Stumps polo. I got my Cuda hat. Went to the Barracuda Championship in uh, Tahoe. Tahoe Truckee um, last week. So it went with the outfit. You know, it goes. It goes. This is a long outro. It's not like a lot of people watch these anyway. So, uh... <laughs> oh, man. All right. Hope you guys did enjoy that. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.